What's up guys? Welcome to my very messy garage and today we're going to talk about my beautiful 992 GT3 and whether you're able to daily drive this car. And I've also had this car for around 4 months now and put around 3000 miles on it and we're going to do a living with review and talk about the good, the bad and the ugly of living with this car every day. So stay tuned. So for the first three months I had this car, I drove it daily every single day before I got my new daily, the RS7. And I gotta say, for the most part, it's an absolutely amazing car to drive every day, but it does have its issues when you're driving this thing every day. The first issue is that it's not the most comfortable car in the world, obviously, right? And when you're driving in a place like LA that has a lot of potholes, a lot of traffic, um, the transmission becomes a bit of an issue and the suspension is obviously an issue it's it's you know it's a track oriented suspension if we're on a track oriented car so your back starts to hurt after a little while and you know i'm not too old and i was i was starting to get a little bit of back pain but the good thing is i don't have the bucket seats on mine so if, i think if you're going to be dailying this car you got to make sure you don't have the bucket seats because the bucket seats will make it 10 times more uncomfortable even though it is better for resale and it's better for tracking the car um, so that's my main issue with it but otherwise you know I mean let's look at this thing how can you not drive it every day I'm not like one of those guys who gets these cars and just leaves them in the garage although it's in my garage right now I'm always driving it as I said before I have 3,000 miles on it and four months now I think and it's been a blast every single time I drive it now another issue that comes up with this car as far as daily driving it goes is going to be the visibility out the back the visibility overall for this car is very good but in the back and in the rear view mirror basically all you see is the small neck spoiler uh, so it does block up a little bit of your view the good thing is you have a beautiful view of that swan neck spoiler every time you look at it look at the mirror and look. looking in the rear view and all you see is that swan neck spoiler Another thing I really wish was offered for this car and this car had was the front view camera and the top view camera. Now this is a wider car and it's an expensive car and it's a very low car. So when you're parking, it really helps if you have a front view camera. You don't want to be hitting the nose when you're parking. So that's another thing I really wish that this car had that would have really helped with the daily drivability of the car. Another issue I've ran into while dailying this car is obviously it's very low and obviously you need to have the lift on it so if you don't um, you're gonna be scratching it all over the place now as far as luggage space goes it really honestly is not too bad you can fit maybe two carry-ons in it uh, so it is actually not that impractical it is for a supercar it is a really practical car and again it's a gt3 so you could if you could daily drive a gt3 not much you can complain about and while we're here look at this exposed carbon on the on the hood how beautiful is that i don't know if my camera is really capturing it for you guys in this horrible garage lighting but it just looks so so nice now one thing i i wish this car had so you, it'd be an easier car to daily would be the chassis had a normal mode. It's really interesting. The chassis only has a sport mode and a track mode. Obviously, this is a GT3, so most people aren't going to be dailying this car. But for the people that do want to daily it, uh, I think it would have been nice to have a normal mode, to have a maybe a softer chassis, so when you are going over the potholes, you know, you don't break your back. But overall something very small to complain about and this is a one-of-a-kind car now what's it like living with this thing for four months it's amazing i think this is the best car i've ever had and i've had my fair share of super cars uh, but there's just nothing else like it that gives you the full package like this does yes there's faster cars yes there's better sounding cars but it's just the package of this car Everything it has meshes together so nicely. It's really like an art 
how how nice this car is from the design to the driving feel to the steering to the suspension to the handling this is the best handling car hands down i've ever had and i think when you put everything together this just becomes really a one-of-a-kind supercar uh, that a lot of these other supercars just can't match up to yes for example i had the 720s and the 720s was mind-blowingly fast way faster than this car but the handling was nowhere near this the way it looked in my opinion was nowhere near this yes it had the butterfly doors but who cares you know th this is this is beautiful it's understated it's not too in your face like a lamborghini like a mclaren which i really love especially in these times um so you know if you want a car that does it all and you can daily this is it i mean Yes, you could go get a Turbo S, but a Turbo S is not going to sound like this. It's not going to feel like this. A Turbo S is just bland and computerized compared to this. This is naturally aspirated. It, 9,000 RPM, the screaming revs when you're going through the tunnels, just the feeling you get is unlike anything else. Uh, I really don't know how else to explain it. But after four months of living with this car and driving it very often... I can't say this is the best car I think I've ever had and for the MSRP, MSRP of it, it's an absolute steal. Not that you can get this car at MSRP, you gotta, right now I think you gotta pay around 100000 over MSRP to get it. But even at that price that these dealers are charging, I think it's absolutely worth it. It's such a blast to drive, such a blast to own this car. So, you know, if you're fortunate enough to be able to purchase the 992 gt3 i say go for it nothing else it's like nothing else i've ever owned like nothing else i've ever driven not much like it out there all right guys thank you so much for watching that does it for this video overall this is a beautiful excellent amazing car and you are able to daily it if you really want to but you know there's just some things you have to consider when buying this car as a daily uh, I do hope that it helped anyone who's looking to purchase this car. Amazing car. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for a lot more content on the way.